An excerpt from the Home Study Course by Walter and Leo Russell. Lesson 13 Balance and this Divided Universe. Knowledge alone will help us meet our problems squarely and turn those which are seemingly not good into good, or those which seemingly hurt us into helpful ones which glorify us. Everything which happens to us is good. Knowledge of God's balanced universe will tell us that if all of our ills arise from unbalance, and God's universe cannot be unbalanced, then we can balance our ills with that knowledge. Until we do balance them, they are but experiences which are our lessons in life. Until we do balance them, we must regard them as but stepping stones across the stream of life. Let us get down to fundamentals. Why do you or I have problems? Why does anything happen to you or me? Why do we go to sleep, wake up, go to work, breathe, talk, eat, think, dress ourselves, catch colds, have pains, aches of the body from ills of the body, aches of the heart from loneliness, or from something some friend said about us, or something we did to hurt a friend. Why does the wind blow east now, west tomorrow, or blow at all? Why the Gulf Stream, or the Antarctic current, or polar ice cap, or jungle heat? Why do I live and die, and am joyful or sorrowful? Why am I here at all? What is it all about? Everything changing always changing. Why, why, why? I will tell you in a very few words and amplify them in the following postulates and axioms. The answer lies in the divine trinity which you are. It lies in your knowledge of the balanced relations between the one which you are and the divided two which your body is, and it lies in your ability to manifest those relations in balance with each other. Postulates 1. Your mind belongs to the undivided and unchanging universe of still magnetic light of all knowing. 2. The undivided is one, the one centering cause of the divided two. 3. Your mind is you. Nothing happens or can happen to you. 4. You centre your thinking. Your thinking extends from you, but your thinking is not you. 5. Your thinking is divided and changing. Anything can happen to your thinking because your thinking is divided and changing but you control your thinking. You can balance it and be joyous, or unbalance it and be miserable. You can make wise decisions and grow strong, or unwise ones and make failure for yourself. You can steal for your greedy self and be shut away from men, or you can give of your loving self and be honoured of men. Your thinking is under your control. Your thinking expresses your desires. You are what you think. You make yourself into the image of your desire. You can be whatever you desire to be. 
What you now are is the product of your thinking. Likewise, what the world is today is the product of world thinking. Man has always had control over his thinking. He has had free will to do as he chose. The world will be wonderful and beautiful, and people in it will be happy, peaceful and prosperous when the world chooses to think beauty, love and the brotherhood of man. Until then, the world will be as chaotic as world thinking is chaotic. The world could transform itself overnight if it could but transform its thinking overnight. Likewise, you could transform yourself overnight by balancing your thinking. 6. Your body is a record of your thinking. Therefore, your body is divided and changing. Anything can happen to your body because your body is divided and changing. It is borning and dying. It is integrating and disintegrating. It is subjected to every effect arising from interchange between all other divided and changing bodies in the universe. Remember also that your body is an extension of you. It manifests you through your thinking, but it is not you. You control it as one unit of creation, but it is subject to all other units of creation and all effects of motion everywhere, for anybody anywhere is an extension of everybody everywhere. If your thinking produces a perfect body and a tragedy of your environment mangles your body, leaving it hopelessly crippled, then you will know what to do about it if you control your body. Otherwise it will control you and make you forget your divinity. It will make you a purely physical thing, whining through life from self-pity, driving love from your door and making you poor indeed. If, however, you can knowingly say, I and my father are one, nothing can happen to your body which you cannot balance and thus live gloriously in the light which you are. 7. You are not a purely physical thing. Your body is not you. It is but a complex state of motion. You are the one spiritual being. Nothing has happened to you. Nothing can happen to you. 13 will be continued in part 2.